believe that the United States Congress is incapable of standing up to the NRA. and passing the gun safety legislation that the American people are begging them to do. And unlike the Republican leadership in Congress and the president, this president will not be intimidated by the NRA. Don't tell me that we cannot reform a broken and racist criminal justice system which has more people in jail than any other country on earth. Don't tell me that we cannot invest in our young people in jobs and education rather than jails and incarceration. Don't tell me that at a time when 200, beg your pardon, 400,000 Americans today, right now, are behind bars for the crime of being poor and not affording cash bail. Don't tell me we can't end cash bail in America. Don't tell me we cannot end the incredibly destructive war on drugs and thank you Colorado for leading the way to the legalization and that's what we have got to do nationally and what we also have to do is expunge the records of those people arrested tell me that we cannot end the racism and demonization of undocumented people in this country. <laughs> On our first day, our administration will restore the legal status for 1.8 million young people in the finally do what should have been done years ago, and that is to pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path towards citizenship. And we will end Amnesty. policy which has American government officials grabbing tiny babies from the arms of their mothers at the border. develop a humane border policy using international standards for asylum. So brothers and sisters, this is an unprecedented moment in American history. What we are fighting for is the future of democracy and whether we, we continue to be a democratic society. What we are fighting for is whether or not we can save this planet for future generations. What we are fighting for is to end the drift toward oligarchy and creating an economy that works for all. What we are fighting for is to make sure that every human being in America has the right to go to a doctor when he or she is sick without out of pocket expenses. So brothers and sisters, it goes without saying that we must and we will defeat Trump. But on the day after we together are inaugurated, we are going to have to come together by the millions to tell the corporate elite that their greed and corruption is going to end. We are going to tell the 1% that they will not continue to control 
the economic and political life of this country. We are going to put together an unprecedented grassroots movement which transforms our country. The message of our campaign is us, not me. No president, not Bernie Sanders or anybody else, can do it alone. So in this unprecedented moment in American history, let us stand up together, black and white and Latino, Native American, Asian American, let us come together. And create, and create the kind of nation based on love, compassion, and justice that we know we can bring about.